Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This weekend I went to a new convention in Woodstock, Illinois called Naval Wars. It's a miniatures wargaming convention put on by HMGS Midwest where all the games are naval related. The admission was very affordable. It was $5 if you registered online or $10 at the door. I played two games at the convention. The first was a What If American Civil War game where a British fleet was attempting to invade the United States and the Union and Confederates joined forces to repel the invasion. The game used Age of Iron rules from mind games. This is a naval combat in the Civil War set of rules that seemed relatively easy to learn as evidenced by the fact that I was able to play without help using just the rules cheat sheet after a few turns. The Americans had ironclads such as monitors and Merrimack type ships, while the British had sailing ships with armor plate. The Americans were victorious, but I think it would be difficult for the British ships to win because they seemed outclassed by the American ironclads. Overall, I thought the game was fantastic, but historically I think the United States did not have a few of these ships until after the war. I can't be totally sure, but that's what, what I suspect. Anyhow. The other game I played was Finding the U-505. It is a homemade rule set where an American fleet has to find a German submarine and try to capture or sink it. The game lasted four hours and most of the time was spent doing sonar searches or aircraft searching. It wasn't until near the end that the submarine was found and the Amer Americans did three depth charge runs on it. The Game Master had a wood box where you'd drop weights on the end of strings and they would hang inside the box and depending on what de depth you set the weights at on the strings, um, they might hang near the submarine inside, that's hidden inside the box. In the three depth charge runs, only one depth charge managed to get within two inches of the submarine and it did only minor damage. After four hours, the Americans conceded. However, the Game Master decided to continue the game by himself without any Americans in an attempt to hit the American aircraft carrier with torpedoes, even though the aircraft carrier was not in the same map zone as the submarine. While this game had some interesting ideas, I felt the rules needed boatloads of work. This turned out to be a really good convention. I look forward to attending again next year.